Welcome to Streamline News for Friday, August 12th, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Tomorrow in London, 60 of the best open water swimmers in the world will stand at the shoreline of Hyde Park Lake for the official Olympic test event of the 10K Swim. The top 10 finishers in the 10K Swim at the recent World Championships are automatically qualified to swim the 10K at the Olympics, and some of those swimmers arrived in London earlier this week to prepare for the test swim. All of the medalists from the 10K Swim at the World Championships on the men's side will be swimming tomorrow, including men's champs Beridian Giannatis, silver medalist Thomas Lures, and bronze medalist Sergei Bolshakov. On the women's side, world champion Carrie Ann Payne will surprisingly not be in the test event since it's in her own country, though silver medalist Martina Grimaldi and third place finisher Mariana Limperda will be in attendance. Several others who placed in the top 10 are in London, including American Alex Meyer, who earned his automatic Olympic bid at Worlds by finishing fourth. Ava Fabian, Christine Jennings, and Ashley Twitchell are also attending the swim with Team USA. The American women have the opportunity to qualify one swimmer for the Olympic 10K swim, though that opportunity will not be until next June in Portugal. The water temperature is much more agreeable to the swimmers who took part in a practice at the venue yesterday. Coming in at 20 degrees Celsius or, 80, or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the water is about 15 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than what swimmers had to deal with in Shanghai last month. We'll bring you the results of that test event swim on SwimmingWorld.com, and you can go to our open water channel now and read John Dusilieri's analysis of how both races will play out. Leah Neal has been a swimmer we've been watching since she swam at the 2008 Olympic Trials as a 13-year-old. She's been progressing nicely through the years in the 50 freestyle, even making the championship final at last week's Senior Nationals. Last night at the Junior Nationals, she showed some endurance by winning the 200 free in a very fast 158.26, which would have placed second at Nationals. It's the sixth fastest time by an American this year, which includes the time trials done by Dagny Knutson and Jasmine Toski at the World Championships. Toski did not swim the 200 free last night, opting to compete in the 100 breaststroke, which she won in 110-24. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. We'll see you back here on Monday.